We don't want to create more chaos in our life. Our, our mind works in a very orderly, systematic manner. So we want to tap into those laws and obey those so that we get better success. All right, as step one, you should have already downloaded your own template for your vision map. It looks just like this. And so if you don't have that yet, go ahead and pause the video, find the link associated uh, in the pathway here so that you can get that PDF for yourself printed out. I do actually recommend that you get a piece of paper. We're gonna be talking about in the process of using your vision map, things that you wanna do once you attain the things, the, the goals that you've got on there, once you achieve those, you're gonna to wanna to keep them. And so I'll talk about more in a second. So just make sure you've got a way to see up close what I'll be talking about here in the training. So go ahead and do that. Okay, no more vision board, B-O-R-E-D. What we wanna do is address a couple of common mistakes that people make when they're putting together their vision board and how you can avoid those. And so I've got an example here. Take a look, if you will. It, it feels uh, kind of overwhelming and chaotic and boring right at first. And, and so let's talk about what's going on here. First of all, there's just tons of stuff. It's all over the place. And I, I got kind of a generic representation here, but as I've looked online and Googled vision boards, there's lots and lots of people saying, do it like this, and, and they look this chaotic. And, and, and so we don't wanna overwhelm, we don't wanna create more chaos in our life. Our, our mind works in a very orderly, systematic manner. So we want to tap into those laws and obey those so that we get better success. And so, so just kind of take a look at it. There's, there's some big words like fun, soon, there's a picture of an airplane, but we really don't know where it's going, um, a house, some money. Um, the idea is it's a lot going on. It's not terribly specific. It, it kind of overwhelms and stresses me out a little bit to look at it. So that would make me not want to spend quality time with my vision board. And the main thing is it's not exciting, it's not getting me amped up about my future, which is the key and why we're gonna leverage these vision maps so that they can really get us going towards that future that we wanna create and, and be a tool that will propel us forward instead of making us saying, oh, that's too hard, that's too much going on. Um, so we want to avoid that and no vision board, just imagine like a slash through it. We're not doing that. So let's talk about the seven things that you do want to do to have a very effective vision map. <laughs> 